stir fry time. Stir fry. I've been trying to perfect this for years. Sounds easy. Just slap a bunch of shit into a pan, high heat, cook it together, and boom, it's good. Well, it's not that simple. It really gets down to the sauce. If you don't have a good stir fry sauce, then you ain't shit. You ain't shit. You ain't shit. So, let's try and figure out the sauce. You turkey. Nothing crazy here. We're gonna do shrimp, because scramps, some baby bok choy. Mm, might put it in, might not. This right here is actually dynamite. Dynamite! Smoked tofu. Whether you like tofu or not, it's really good. You, you won't even notice that it's tofu. It, it's, it's sriracha smoked tofu. It's really good. It's not super, it's not super spicy. It tastes like a bit of meat. Um, some discount. <laughs> mushrooms that are looking kind of beat, but they're fine. They're just a little, they've just been exposed to the air a little bit. I see some shiitakes, I see some oyster mushrooms in there. Some uh, cremini, maybe. It was 30% off. Safe. Yo, money. It's it might look ugly, but it'll taste fine. Probably not the best basis for a cooking show. Say what? Who cares? Bean sprouts. Snow peas. Ginger, onion, red pepper, garlic. That's it, super easy. And another gambit of noodle choices. I, I might try one of each. Maybe some vermicelli, maybe some chow mein, maybe udon, udon's my favorite. These are great. Just like the, you just boil them water, you don't even have to cook them. That doesn't make sense. I guess. Cool. Um, I don't have a wok because amateur hour over here. Um, so I'm going to Fry up the shrimp in cast iron just because I need some high heat. Um, I tried doing it before in this one, and guess what? Warp City. That's lame. Promises to never warp if, as long as you don't heat it up past 10 degrees. So we'll do the veggies in that. It's gonna, it's gonna be, you know, this is the real cooking for real people. It's the real world. You know, we don't all have fancy ass kitchens with, with all the bells and whistles, right? So, uh, join me, won't you? We're going to jolly old Asia. Why are you the way that you are? Okay, so, sauce. I'm gonna chop up some garlic. Boom, chopped up garlic. I'm not gonna use all that. Don't you worry, you gotta chill out. Uh, let's peel some garlic. Everyone knows the old spoon trick. Did I say garlic? I meant ginger. Hey, who's an idiot? You're an idiot! Ginger, peel away. Look how easy that is. Why are you fussing over ginger all the time? Just uh, peel it with a spoon. Okay, now we're gonna zip it up. Yeah, have you been have you been wasting thousands of dollars a year on, on ginger that you've been peeling with, with a knife by cutting it into pieces? You turkey, just use a spoon! You're an idiot! Greater. Ginger. Good amount of ginger. <laughs> Boom. That's, uh, that's a lot. That's a lot of ginger. Uh, let's not use all that. Let's use about that much. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna save that for something later. Measuring cup. And what's going into it is the pork broth that I made the other day. Pork bone broth. And that is, I said 500 mils, that's 300 mils. So we got that going. And here's where shit starts coming together. So, uh, ginger and garlic. Yeah, all that ginger. All that garlic. Get this into a bit more. Oh, I bet it gets you just noticed that hands, hands free. Production value, soy sauce. Let's go in with a third of a cup. Oh, come on. Okay, just under a third of a cup. Boom. Yeah. Sesame oil. 
maybe a tablespoon and a half. Sesame oil is strong. Lids, where do they go? Okay. Rice vinegar, holy hell. Amateur hour, again. Maybe about a tablespoon and a bit. Here, this is what I'm after. Oyster sauce. This shit is bomb. And I'm going in with a lot of it. About another third of a cup. You can also use a bit of dark soy sauce. It's, it's particularly salty. I'm not down with that. I always find that these things are a little heavy on the sodium front. Let's give this a little stir. Okay, getting there. What am I missing? Oh! 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> Honey! Just go for it. Maybe another tablespoon in a bit. Let's give this a mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Let me get a little taste. Mmm. Nice, nice, perfect. Couple of chili flakes. Give it a bit of heat. Mm mm mm. Nice. Oh, that's good. And the last ingredient just a bit of cornstarch. Maybe, uh, yeah, but yay much. Half, half tablespoon. It's gonna thicken things together once it starts to heat up, so it's not just gonna be a liquid. I need a whisk. I need a lot of stuff. If you haven't noticed, this isn't the highest production quality. Say what? Value of a uh, cooking show, but you know, we're getting there. Okay, and now, told you this was gonna be shrimp. So, let's marinate our shrimp a little bit in this. Boom. In. On. Stir. Let sit. And then we'll be back with some uh, some of the some of the action shots. Some of this getting uh, getting fried up. And uh, then we'll start chopping some veg. Hey. Okay, peanut oil. Decent glug of that. And in with. I'm gonna go in first. Woo! Actually, you know what? Okay. Going in with everything. Not the bok choy, going in with that last. Fast fry. Bonanza. Sorry about that. I'm just getting used to this. Oh, okay. Almost there. Let's go in with a bit of the bok choy. A little bit of snow peas, my favorite. It's all about the bean sprouts. I'm gonna put like a bed of those uncooked into plating. Now. Our meats and proteins. Yay! Yeah. Chow mein. Good. Off the heat. That looks beautiful. Hey! Chow mein in.
Yes. Yes. This is looking nice. Nice. Bullseye. Yeah. That's it. It's just that easy. One pan. Well. Bullshit. Two pans. I mean, it's just bullshit. Three pans. Bullshit. No, actually, no, I use four pans. Hey, you know what? F me. I use numerous pans. <laughs> but whatever. Hey, look at that. Looks like stir fry to me. No stir fry would be complete, though, without some sesame seeds. Yes. There we go. Hey, keep cooking. Let me know what you think about the new format. Or don't. I don't care. I'm not the cops.